Kicking off Tachi Palace fights will be a heavyweight contest featuring Muhammad Usman and Derek Wilson. Following in his brother's footsteps, Tucson, Arizona's Muhammad Usman looks to show that he has what it takes to be a true up-and-comer. While his surname was put on the map of fight fans after Kamaru won season 21 of The Ultimate Fighter, Mohamed looks to add a few chapters of his own to the story of the fighting Usmans. Tonight, he makes his professional debut. Standing in his way will be the veteran Derek Williams. Fighting out of Turlock, California, Williams has been competing as a professional since 2009. While his bouts have taken place up and down the Golden State, Williams will try to take home his first TPF victory in his promotional debut. On the way, it's Mohamed Usman meeting Derek Alpha Wolf Williams. This is Tachi Palace Fights. Guys, we are live. Tachi Palace fights TPF 31, and we are here at the beautiful Tachi Palace Resort and Casino in Lemoore, California. And this is the first fight of the evening, and we are going to send it up to the Iron Man, Tyson Johnson, for the introductions for our first fight of the evening. All right, so here we go. Derek Williams, the Alpha Wolf, is on his way, and I'll tell you what. The Alpha Wolf is biting off a lot here against Muhammad Usman, who we saw a little bit earlier on. The guy's a monster, but Derek Williams, no, no rookie here. He's a veteran. He's had plenty of fights, and he's he's hungry after a, a big layoff, about six and a half years, Leslie Smith. And it's a big deal to be the veteran coming in against a debut fighter. There's a lot of nerves. There's a lot going on with the lights, with all the people, all the people. And so being the veteran, you know how to deal with that a little bit better. He won his last fight, Derek Williams did, so... That's got to put him in a in a good mindset to try to keep that winning streak going. Absolutely, but you know, you're a fighter, you fight in the UFC. Let me ask you this, it's been six and a half years, Leslie. 2010 was that victory, and here he comes on his way back now after a huge layoff. How much does that play into this fight? It totally depends on who you are and, and how you are. You know, we saw a lot of people, a lot of people come back after taking time off, and they say ring rust doesn't exist. I agree, I don't think there's any such thing as ring rust. I think that you train and you get better and then you come in and you do what you do. Absolutely, and this is gonna be a big test for both Derek Williams and Mohamed Usman. And Mohamed Usman's got some big shoes to fill with his brother, the winner of the Ultimate Fighter and undefeated in the UFC. So, uh, but if anybody can do it, I mean, I'm looking at the guy, he looks like a, an action figure. I mean, he's just big, he's monstrous, he's athletic. And uh, that's not taking anything away from Derek Williams from Turlock. And, I think this is going to be a great fight. What a way to start off Tachi Palace 31. I mean, this is going to be a tremendous night of mixed martial arts action, Leslie. Absolutely. And Derek Williams is walking into the cage right now. And it'll be Derek Williams in the white trunks. That's a great and feeling to walk here's inside Tyson the Johnson cage. with the introduction of his opponents. I keep sending it up to Tyson. I apologize, guys. I was actually in the middle of something. Did not see that he announced the fights coming out. Now you can see him. And as I said, the guy is huge. He's going the wrong way, but <laughs> he's on his way down. There you see him. And they got the wrong name up there. This is Muhammad Usman on his way to the cage. And he is running to the cage. He does to make not want to waste any time. <laughs> Pro athlete, and this is what I talked to him about earlier. I had a chance to sit down with Muhammad Usman, and I said, what is the transition like from pro sports, you know, pro NFL and collegiate football to MMA? And he said, look, I'm used to getting hit. And he is. He's been hit by some of the biggest guys in the world. It's a little bit different getting hit in the face, though, Leslie. It's a very big difference. I was actually just reading about one of the differences between going from a different kind of sport into MMA and how different the training is. And, and it's just a whole other level of fitness that, that is required and a different level of commitment to exactly what's going on because there's no team it's only you there's yes. not 11 people it's one person absolutely and Muhammad Usman is ready and look at this corner getting him pumped up there and you can see him in his ear he's got the chain around his neck and he is getting him ready for action and Derek Williams for his part is in the cage he's calm he looks like he's ready to go he's not real hyped up uh, two different styles here Usman ran to the cage and Derek Williams took his time getting to the cage. And there's advantages to both of them. Some people, uh, I've heard Hicks and Gracie talk about it before, about keeping the heart rate as low as possible Absolutely. so that you have as much room to go through. Absolutely. Now we will send it up. 
to the Iron Man, Tyson Johnson, for the official introductions for our first fight of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this first Tachi Palace fight will be three five-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This fighter stands six feet, one inch tall. He weighed in at 241 pounds. He represents the Wolf of the Valley fight team with an MMA record of one win and three defeats. He hails from Turlock, California. Please welcome Derek Alpha Wolf Williams. And his opponent fighting under the red corner stands six feet, one inch tall. He weighed in at 250 pounds. He represents Rise Combat Sports, making his fight debut out of Tucson, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Muhammad the Motor Usman. Your referee for this bout is Jason McCoy. All right, here we go, Leslie Smith. First fight of the evening. Referee Jason McCoy will bring them to the center of the cage and give them his instructions. And you heard the nickname for Muhammad Usman, and it is the motor. And he was given that nickname in football because he never stops moving. Will that now translate into the cage? And look at this, he's almost crawling over there. Derek Williams' corner told us that some of the advice he gave him is to use the jab and to use the teep kip and to try to avoid clinched. this game, yes. yes. To and not get in the clinch, to keep the distance. So let's see what he can do. He's doing a great job right now with that overhook and holding him up. Absolutely, and you see the pommel there from Muhammad Usman. And look at the quads on Usman. I mean, so much power in those legs, Leslie Smith, as he throws that knee. And there's a knee from Derek Williams. And Williams doing a good job here, effectively stopping the power. Although, as I say that, he's taken down quickly there by Muhammad Usman, who is now on the top. It's Muhammad Usman in the solid black trunks. Derek Williams on the bottom in the white with the black stripe. And what does he need to do here, Derek Williams, to get out from underneath the bigger, stronger man, Leslie Smith? Well, using his left arm, digging that underhook, and then trying to get up onto his knees would be a good idea. But it looks like Usman actually has his arm maybe around the neck that's preventing him from turning into him. It looks like he did. He just brought it out. He threw a few forearm or elbows there to the face. And you see the, the hammer fists. And, he, yeah, he's got to turn into him, and he's not really doing that. I mean, that is a big man on top of him, though. Now he's going to go for a Kimura here, Leslie. And he looks like he might have this. So much strength in those arms. I don't know if Derek Williams can stop this, and it's all over. Just like that, the debut of Muhammad Usman is over. Kimura finish as he shuts down Derek Williams rather quickly here in the opening contest at Tachi Palace Fights 31. That was a solid finish. You know, a, a lot of times when people come in and they're so athletic let's let's take a look at that again and here you see he goes for that Kimura quickly and Derek Williams is in a really bad spot here with all that weight on top of him and look at the size of those arms I don't know that there was any way two on one that he was going to stop this Kimura from happening Leslie he no. was just in a bad spot from that was a jump. really well executed Kimura and he looks like he, he's still down he's holding his arm and that's a strong man arm barring you there and we thought we were going to see a lot of strikes from Muhammad Usman instead we saw a submission and what a surprise, but what a great performance there from Muhammad Usman. Yeah, super great performance. I was anticipating more strikes. I was I was thinking we were going to see him get bulldogged with the strikes, but that is not what happened. He came in, and, and he had great technique and got the finish with the sub. Absolutely, stuff. and uh, let's send it up to the voice of the cage for our, our official decision. It is the Iron Man, Tyson Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 16 seconds into round number one, your referee, Jason McCoy, stops the bout for your winner by way of tap out, Mohammed the Motor Hoosman. So there it is, Mohammed Usman in his debut. And, I mean, look at him. He's still intense, Leslie. He looks like he wants to go another three rounds. But you know what I really liked was with that intensity, it was controlled intensity. Yes. He was smart about everything that he did in there. And it's a different situation when you have a guy that's coming into mixed martial arts from just a regular background as opposed to a guy who's been a professional athlete and knows what it's like under the lights. And as we look at the replay again, and there's that big Kimura, and then he does the big leap, and I'm sure his brother is proud. I'm sure his brother is proud. He wanted to watch him. He had to be somewhere else tonight. And uh, we are actually going to get ready for fight number two as we move on up the card here at Tachi Palace 31. And coming up next, it'll be Jalen Turner in the lightweight division taking on Paradise Valvasa out of San Francisco, California. Let's shoot it up to Tyson Johnson. 